Clinical trial is a scientific study that we use to test to see if drugs are safe and work well before we sell them to the general population. Every drug that we use, from drugs as complicated as cancer treatments to drugs as simple as Advil or Dayquil, have all gone through clinical trials before they're sold in pharmacies or used in hospitals. And for a drug to get to the level of a phase one trial, it already has gone through animal studies as well as like lower dose trials to make sure that the drug is safe to give to humans. are natural proteins that are part of the body's natural response to foreign invaders like viruses or bacteria. Antibodies are kind of like little warriors that are part of your immune system that spring into action anytime um, you're infected with a virus or bacteria and they fight this infection to make you healthy. Most people don't have antibodies for HIV naturally so this trial the goal will be to give manufactured antibodies for your body so that it can help um, recognize HIV. The virus HIV itself is very sneaky and really smart, so it'll get into your body without your body recognize it. So with these antibodies, we're hoping that your body will have the knowledge and be able to detect the virus and have a defense. So HPTN087 is our new clinical trial that we're recruiting new participants for. Um, it's studying a new monoclonal antibody to prevent people from getting HIV. The purpose of this study is to look at um, how safe the monoclonal antibody is, um, what changes it makes to your immune system, and how well it might do in preventing people from getting HIV in the future. Um, the trial is two years long. Um, and in the trial, you'll either get the antibody through an infusion or an injection five times over those two years. If you're in one of the infusion groups, um, the antibody will be in a liquid bag and will infuse it into your body um, through a tube that goes right into one of the veins in your arms. If you're in one of the injection groups, we'll deliver the antibody um, like an injection, just like at a doctor's office, you would get the flu shot. In this trial at the Fenway Institute, safety is the number one priority. Uh, I'm a nurse and during these trials, we're constantly monitoring vital signs, all kinds of labs, and your general health throughout the study. Your safety is more important than anything else. So throughout the study, we will be monitoring you. On top of our nurses, nurse practitioners, and doctors to look at your safety, um, we also have a lot of external people who are monitoring your safety to make sure that everyone is safe during the study. In this trial, we will give, be giving you manufactured antibodies that know what HIV looks like. At no point in this trial will we be giving you actual HIV virus. The only thing we're giving you is antibodies. Research is important because there's still a long way to go in the fight against HIV AIDS. For the last four decades, we've been working on new trials um, for the 37 million people who already have HIV, 1.1 of them living in the US. And the new studies that we've been focusing on have been antibody related. And that seems to be the new route that we're all heading to for HIV research. Participating in clinical research is one of the best ways that you can contribute in the global fight against HIV and AIDS. No matter how smart scientists are at the lab or researchers are at their desks, in the end we need people like you to join clinical studies like this so that we can develop new ways to prevent HIV and ultimately end HIV and AIDS across the globe. For, For more information, information email bnab at fenwayhealth.org.